this is Dan Alford. Welcome to the Art Specialties Weld of the Week. Today's episode is unique because we're going to be orbital welding on titanium with robots, things that don't normally go together. We're going to be breaking a number of rules. Most robots are MIG welding. This is TIG welding. Robots can only rotate a torch possibly two revolutions normally. What we've done is we've come up with a seventh axis that we fitted to this KUKA robot and integrated into the control system. We're using slip rings to conduct the well power, the hot wire power, servo wire feed, the gas, the water, and even video signals. Robots are gaining capability and replacing many of the older, less flexible welding systems. And at the same time, we're going to be working on one of the most challenging materials, titanium. The problem with titanium, it wells easily, but it's easily oxidized. Not so long ago, people considered titanium to be only weldable in an inert atmosphere in a glove box because it's so easily oxidized. You can actually quantify the weld quality by the color. Silver is the color that you want. It means no oxidation at all. Straw color means light oxidation. This is generally acceptable. But the blues that you see on so much titanium art means that you have excessive oxidation. And it could be worse. You could go all the way to grays and even whites. Titanium oxide is white. In fact, it's the pigment in many spray paints, but it's the last thing you want to see in a weld. Here's an example of the color you're looking for. This is a job we did with keyhole plasma. Jim's doing x-ray fluorescence on the chemical composition of this chemically pure titanium. The reason we have zero oxidation on this is we used a 24-inch long trail shield. We aren't able to use a trail shield that long inside these small bores, but this principle is still the same. We integrated a Xyrus Arc video monitoring camera into this and ran the signals through the slip rings. This is actually a quality assurance measure. If you make it easy for the operator to observe the well going in, you can be sure that the well quality is good. This is actually an Arc 5 Infinity robot. This is normally used for cladding of nickel alloys into valves and pipe for sour service in the oil field. But since we're using a robot, it was easy to reconfigure this thing for a titanium job simply by making software changes. Orbital welding has always been challenging because every revolution you're having to weld flat, vertical up, overhead, and vertical down within each revolution. There's two ways you can approach this challenge. The old school technique is to use such a small bead that it's surface tension of the well puddle exceeds the forces of gravity. This works pretty well, but it's slow and inefficient. So the way we do it instead is we're optimizing welding conditions all the way around every revolution. For the main arc, we use a Miller Maxstar power supply, but we generate the pulsed waveform and the Miller simply reproduces it. We're also using an arc specialties AC hot wire power supply to preheat the wire. And then we control arc voltage using a vectored arc voltage control and algorithm that we've developed. By synchronized control of all of these variables, we're able to produce a weld of consistent dimensions at a high deposition rate around the entire circumference of the inside of the part. We look forward to posting new episodes of the Arc Specialties Weld of the Week. If you're one of the thousands of operators of Arc Specialties equipment around the world and you have a weld that you would like to showcase, please contact us. At Arc Specialties, we thrive on problems. Send us yours.